fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Hey, Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. No, no, that was like a dragon peep. You gotta let it all out. It's a mighty roar. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. No, no, that was like a dragon peep. You gotta let it all out. It's a mighty roar. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> Could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss. Okay, seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will assist you on your quest, douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. How may I be of service? Here's what we're selling today. Oh my! <laughs> Is that Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in school? Ah! 
Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level six thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention! Now start doing your homework! Okay, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime! Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Sorry, I've already got friends. Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. You are late to school on, must be punished! They come. They're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. because I've hidden the key somewhere and you'll never find it in my office. Oh. I'm in pursuit!
Oh, wow. Boobies. Must have. Must touch. Boobies. <laughs> Gee whiz, whistle bitches! <laughs> Eat you alive in detention. to use this referral slip. <laughs> Maybe now you'll turn your life around. Smart officers down! We're taking heavy casualties out here! Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around! He's got the brass key! He's some kind of dragonborn! Now look, this is detention time! Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons! And besides, he's never gonna get inside here because to open the door you need the gold key and the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. Okay. You found the brass key! Here, guard the key! Dude, you shit your pants! <laughs> Dude, you shit your pants! <laughs> Ooh, that one sounded like it hurt! Gee whiz, whistle bitches! <coughs> <laughs> right back, we've got a roadblock set up. Forget the key, protect the front lines. Well, lucky there was a box of fireworks just sitting there. Every step you take is another ten demerits. Dude, <laughs> Oh, don't forget. 
get the key. Command, my lord. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your friends. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your friends. Your world is the. Walk it out, buddy. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. There were too many of them. They were too strong. Their hair, too red. Maybe you could take the silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners. Careful, douchebag. This is Mackie's lair. One wrong step and we could end up in detention. The gold key. No human has ever laid hands on it before. Let's hope it holds the power to unlock the cafeteria door. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah, that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Farth is authorized. They're going to eat you alive in detention.
Damn you, Craig! Thanks for busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to... Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. But now it is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of... the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Uh, oh god, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. Hey, where the hell are you going? I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cup a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic, throw it at your opponent. Come on, douchebag, you let it slip right through your fingers. Try again. Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. <laughs> Come on, douchebag, you let it slip right through your fingers. Try again. Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. <laughs> yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson! Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Don't have to take this, gonna Yes? Oh, uh, hey, Sky, could you um, spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try a new move. I'm guys! Now, Douchebag, cup a spell! Sky, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! <laughs> <laughs> 